Welcome to our project presentation. Uh, the topic uh, of our project is the design and simulate a wind turbine battery system to meet all energy needs uh, of a remote house. Okay. Uh, I am going to start the, this presentation uh, with a question uh, that why we have uh, chosen a uh, wind turbine energy system. Well, a wind energy system is always an excellent alternative to fossil fuel plants as it produces carbon-free uh, renewable energy when it is placed in a windy place. And St. John's is historically a windy place and Newfoundland is the second windiest province in Canada, so the availability of wind is not an issue. Uh, besides, there is uh, no cost of fuel for producing energy as well as it uh, confirms the efficient uses of land and spaces. Consequently, this technology has developed the interest of small-scale users, especially in uh, remote areas where grid power is unavailable or users like to reduce their reliance on the existing electrical grid to minimize electricity bill. And moreover, the uh, system's uh, sustainability is very good, so we have selected this. Now, the main focus of our project um, is to uh, design a appropriate battery storage system because it is very crucial um, uh, for this system uh, and uh, the main reason uh, that we have to select a proper uh, battery system is like that uh, to ensure uh, continuous power supply without connecting to a grid power supply and if required then it allows uh, enough time for maintenance work uh, in turbine part without power break to the necessary appliances. Um, also, under, um, also, under capacity, the um, battery bank will result in interruption of power supply during windless days and the over capacity battery bank will cause a high initial cost for the customers. So, we have um, considered uh, some effects uh, uh, to get a proper storage system like and we have considered the battery uh, depth of discharge, the effect of uh, on its uh, uh, room temperature, and we also have considered the windless days. And finally, we have uh, consider finally considering these um, uh, effects, uh, we uh, calculate a proper um, battery storage system. Okay. Now let us let us have a look about our selected site because the, the, it is very essential to consider the weather information to install a wind turbine. The energy generation and efficiency of the wind turbine depend on the site location and stable wind speed. However, we have selected Signal Hill uh, that is situated um, to the southeast part of St. John's due to its vast uh, wind resources. Uh, before selecting this uh, location, we analyze past few years hourly wind speed, wind direction and desired half height to get the maximum wind speed to meet our expected uh, production. And uh, as the um, uh, selected site is a coastal region, uh, so the coastal wind uh, projects can contribute to increasing installation capa uh, capacity as they ensure frequent and powerful winds. And uh, in the uh, in the selected site, um, there is no nearby obstacle that will cause um, uh, turbulence to disturb airflow access to the site. Okay, here uh, this figure uh, shows a monthly average wind speed in a year. It, uh, it's wise to mention that uh, we relied on Homer Pro um, uh, software to collect up-to-date wind data of this location. We observed the weather information over uh, past 30 years using this software uh, to extract the annual average wind, uh, wind speed of this location and this, um, this is 7.78 uh, uh, meter per second and uh, this speed is optimum enough uh, for any small scale wind turbine to uh, produce its rated generation. And uh, another thing, the wind speed at um, uh, winter is higher, uh, uh, is higher than uh, the summer time and uh, this is uh, very convenient for us because uh, at that time the load demand is also increased. Okay, uh, now I am going to give you a quick overview of our calculation methodology and this is, our, uh, this is the flowchart of our calculation procedure. Uh, it starts with the estimation of total ele electrical uh, consumption in a year. Uh, the total load is based on the um, consumption of electrical appliances of a standard residential home uh, at our proposed location. 
obviously we uh, consider peak time based summer and winter load profile um, uh, after that the wind resources uh, wind resource data um, of the area has been analyzed for selecting suitable energy uh, system components such as uh, uh, wind turbine uh, battery system and inverter so on uh, finally the entire system has been designed and simulated in the uh, homer pro optimization tool and also the system dy dynamic simulation has been performed in matlab uh, simulink to observe uh, the system output at varying site condition uh, also apid controller has been developed to demonstrate uh, system control and protection system and the you know, main focus of this system is to uh, minimize the cost of overall um, system including capital and om cost uh, with maximum uh, utilization of the available resources and now i am inviting uh, my next group member mrimoy shekhar kundu to continue the next part of this presentation thank you thank you so much now we are going to calculate the load of the total system for this uh, calculation we have considered this formula uh, uh, where wt is the total wattage hour n1 is the number of the electrical appliances which we have considered and w1 is the total wattage hour of this appliances and uh, uh, hd is the number of hours which we have considered uh, as the operational time of this appliances in the right side we can see a bar chart where uh, we have actually shown different kinds of appliances which which we casually use in day, our daily life. We have used these appliances in a house at Signal Hill and where we can find there are LED bulb, street lights, LED TV, washer and dryer uh, and the total consumption of these appliances is 11.35 uh, kilowatt which we have con uh, considered as the daily uh, consumption of the total system. As our main focus is to design the battery system of this wind turbine system or wind turbine project, so we have considered these formulas to calculate the battery storage capacity. We can find the total battery bank capacity is equals to total wattage hour uh, multiplies uh, number of total days. That means uh, as we want to use the battery for emergency use, for example, if we go for any maintenance or there is any natural calamity, we will use these batteries uh, reserve energy uh, will back up our whole system. For the battery system, we have to consider the total depth of discharge uh, and we have uh, calculated by using the uh, using this formula we have also calculated the uh, room temperature factor uh, and we have used this uh, formula to do that we have also calculated the total uh, ampere hour uh, of the battery which is actually required to select the uh, exact battery which will be suitable for our whole system. We have used this formula uh, to measure the uh, total ampere to calculate the system and there is the total number of batteries which we actually require for maintaining the budget and also we need to implement in the system. In this slide, we have actually uh, divided this uh, whole operation in six steps. We can find in the step one, we have uh, calculated the daily load consumption, which already I have declared in the uh, previous slide. Uh, this is uh, 11.35 kilowatt and uh, for two days backup, we have to consider total 22.7 kilowatt load actually. In step 3 and st uh, step 4, we have actually considered the depth of uh, discharge effect and in step 4, there is a temperature effect which we have uh, considered to measure the total part of this uh, battery. In the right side, there is a chart where we can find the temperature factor for different uh, temperature and from that we can find the at 25 degrees Celsius as a, as a room temperature, the temperature factor remains 1.01 .01 and we have uh, calculated uh, taking this value. In step 5, we have calculated the ampere hour of the battery system. Uh, we have calculated uh, the value of step 4 and divided by the total volt of the battery system, that's 24 volt. Uh, and uh, we have got the 1195.33 ampere, which is the total ampere we require to uh, uh, back up the whole system. In this slide, we have shown uh, an example to select the number of batteries for our uh, project. 
For example, if we consider a 110 milliampere battery, which is of 24 volt, and uh, as we have total ampere of 1195.33 ampere and 24 volts, so we need uh, uh, in total 11 or number of batteries. But uh, as we have to uh, rely on the real life experiments, so we have actually considered this the battery, which uh, already given in the uh, lower part. We have considered SBS 480, which is of 6.46 kilowatt, and the total capacity uh, of this uh, is 538 ampere hour. There's a 12 volt battery, and uh, uh, as we have in 24 volt system, so we have considered two of these batteries for our total project. Now we have to uh, select the components which we actually need to generate the power. Here is the wind turbine, which is the main part of our project. As our project is uh, wind turbine based, uh, we have selected ELOS virtual access wind turbine, which is of 1 kilowatt, and the uh, maximum capacity of this wind turbine is 1.5 kilowatt. We have considered the half height of 9.90 meter, and we have considered the lifetime is 20 years. We have also selected the inverter, uh, which is a 24 volt DC to AC inverter, and uh, the capacity of this inverter is 2.1 kilowatt. We have also uh, taken a charge controller for the system, and uh, the main part which we actually focus on in this project is the battery. And uh, previously, we have also declared that. Uh, our battery is of 538 ampere hour which is of 12 volt and 6.86 kilowatt capacity and we have considered uh, two uh, of these batteries to back up the 24 volt whole system and that will actually meet up our requirement we believe in this slide, uh, we are actually showing the softwares we have used, the parameters we have used to uh, run through this project. We have used the Homer Pro software to input all the systems and the load data to get a uh, feasible out output and which will be usable for our system. We have used the Homer Pro software to download our wind resource data. We have inputted 11.35 kilowatt uh, our daily consumption in that uh, software. After that, we have inserted the components which we have used that is our wind turbine our controller and our inverter and the batteries uh, battery packs uh, to uh, measure and op optimize the whole system after that we have used the homer pro standards to optimize the system and we can uh, find the da daily load profile in the right hand side uh, which i have already discussed previously this is the uh, daily consumption uh, which we have inserted after that to correct the whole calculation uh, and uh, more detailed analysis we have used the uh, matlab simulink software we have inserted uh, dynamic simulation in that software and uh, we, uh, we have inserted the whole system diagram which we have uh, previously implemented in Mat, uh, in homer pro software and we have inserted our uh, readings and the pitch angles and wind speed data in the matlab simulink software after that getting our desired output which is similar to our previous uh, output of uh, the Homer Pro software, we have gone through the final design of the whole project. That's all from myself. Now I would like to invite Mr. Fahim Muntasi to go through the analysis and feasibility analysis of the system and he will actually show us the final results and the, our final recommendations and our final observation of this uh, project. Thank you so much. So thank you my fellow group members, so now I am going to describe the schematic diagram of 1 kilowatt after a dynamic simulation in MATLAB Simulink. So the dynamic simulation has been done in MATLAB Simulink based on the following varying site conditions. We have varied the site wind speed and also we have varied the pitch angle of the blade at different wind speed and output block. So after inputting variables in the 1 kilowatt wind turbine input block, we have got the final design here. So we can see that. The total wind turbine output is 533.9 watt. So where when the radius is 1.98 meter, wind speed is 7.78 meter per second. The radius is 25.07 radian per second, and the pitch angle is 0.75. So by putting these input variables, we have got output of 533.9 watt. So if we vary this uh, input block, we will get different outputs every time. So that's what we did in 
methylene sigonate. So now we have also designed a PID controller to protect the wind turbine from some unusual characteristics. So some of the unusual characteristics, characteristics that might happen to a wind turbine are as follows, such as wind speed, overload, over speed, over temperature and over voltage. So if this includes exceeds the rated value, the control system will activate the wind turbine and protect it from these unusual characteristics. So as we can see here, the control system is equipped with manufacturing rated parameters. When this rated parameter exceeds the value, the control system will control pitch angle, yaw mechanism, or even it can initiate total shutdown power to the wind turbine as well. So this is the PAT controller what we have designed in Mantle Sigoning. So here we can see that the summation block here, it continuously monitors the output variables. So when the summation block senses the output variables exceed the rated value, it will give signals to this uh, proportional integrator and uh, integer and the derivative block to keep the output variables under the rated value. That's how the PID controller will protect the wind turbine from some unusual characteristics. So this is the optimization results we have gained from uh, Homapro software. So as we can see that this uh, Homapro software, in the Homapro software we have uh, constant the project life of 20 years. So what we have seen that when we have uh, one wind turbine with two battery banks, the total NPC cost, cost of the project becomes 24,496 US dollar with LOCE, levelless cost of energy of 0.53 US dollars. And the uh, amount of excess energy is 14.5% with a uh, renewable fraction of 100%. So here we can see that we have considered the following capital and OM cost of the total system. That's how the NPC cost becomes 24,496 US dollars. So from the previous slide, what we have seen that the excess energy is 14.5%. So that is a little bit high. So now we are considering how we can utilize this excess energy to make the project far more visible. So as you can know that, that uh, as already know that this house is the oil based heating system so the customer has to pay gas bills in every year. So what we are thinking that if we can include a portable space heater to minimize the cost of the oil bills. So here the capacity of the space heater is 1.5 kilowatt and that can be bought from any local market uh, within 150 to 200 dollars so that will not add too much cost to the project. So if we operate the space heater 10 hours in a day so the total usage will be 450 kilowatt hour in a month. So the 450 kilowatt hour which is still less than 678 kilowatt hour. So by operating the space heater 10 hours in a day, we can reduce the amount of excess energy and also we can reduce the gas bill as well. How? By keeping the space heater off, uh, by running the space heater and or by reducing or turning off the original heating system for 10 hours in a day, the customer will be able to save some gas bills. The customer is already is saving some uh, electric bills so now if we can offer the space heater, portable space heater, we will be also able to save some gas bills as well, which will make the project far more feasible to the customers, we believe. So after that, we have uh, discussed the final results here. So every project has some pros and cons in it. So first we will discuss the pros of this uh, project. So the off-grid wind turbine battery system offers reliability and independence to the customer. Uh, little dependency on the grid will offset some electricity bills to them. So as the customer will not be connected to the grid, so the, the utility company will not compensate any bills to them. Isolated wind turbine battery system can be a reliable source of power during grid failure or outage. So if any natural calamities happen, so as they are not dependent upon on the grid, they can get power from the wind turbine or even if the wind turbine is under maintenance, they can get power from the battery storage system as well. Uh, wind turbine fuelings is Maintenance can be performed as per the schedule due to the availability of battery banks. So we know that the wind turbine has to be made some annual periodic maintenance to retain its efficiency. So that cannot be a problem because we already have got a backup power supply. So we can do the periodic maintenance of the wind turbine in the, our period, as per our periodic schedule. But uh, there are some costs of this project as well, such as off-grid system offers higher NPC and LOC. That is mainly happening due to the inclusion of the battery bank. Because we have considered the two 6.46 kilowatt hour battery bank with 538 ampere hour capacity, so that will add some project cost. The amount of excess energy is 14.5%, and due to the higher NPC and NOC cost, the investment recovery period will be higher in our grid system. That mainly happens due to the inclusion of the battery banks. So, lastly, I will make some recommendations for the battery, the better sustainability of the project. 
So the customer relocation, at this project is based on 20 years, so if the customer relocated after a certain amount of time, that will not make the project feasible. We also have to make accurate load forecasting, because in accurate load forecasting will result in oversight or underside battery banks for the wind turbine. And we have to make efficient operation and maintenance co and keeping the OEM cost within the limit. So if we keep the OEM cost within the limit, the wind turbine will maintain its efficiency and also we can reduce the total project cost as well. So thank you very much uh, for uh, viewing our video and uh, this is our project for the wind turbine battery system for a remote house. Thank you.